Hey, it's Ryan with this week's Malax Fishing Report. We have gone from winter to summer seemingly overnight, and it's going to be opening weekend here on Saturday. A little backstory on the walleyes this year we're going to be able to keep fish throughout the season, it sounds like, and that's a good thing. And I think there's going to be fish biting as well. This winter was surprisingly good, especially early on. It tapered on, it tapered down a little bit as the season wore on, but overall it was a good year for the walleye bite. Now since I haven't been on the lake yet, can't get out there until Saturday, I'm just going to be going off some old memories on some baits and techniques that have just typically always produced well during opener. We'll get started with the walleyes. Number one technique, this opener, I would say would be a Lindy rig up on the sand. That's a classic pattern. We have a cold spring this year, so I believe that's going to be very strong. What I would do is try to get a Lindy rig and a leech, drag it on the sand. You're going to have to adjust your depths throughout the day and just find out what's working best. But I would say anywhere from 6 to 12 all the way out to 18, sometimes even 24 feet of water. But you're just going to have to feel that out as the day goes on. A light Lindy rig with a spot tail shiner is one of my favorite techniques for going up into the sand. Get it, long line it, get it way out and away from the boat. Sometimes just doing a split shot rig, the same sort of thing works great too. But north end sand, Lindy rig, and a spot tail shiner is great. If you're having trouble getting spot tails, a Lindy rig and a leech will work very well as well. The second thing is going to be a bobber and a leech on a rock hump in the evening. That's just a classic pattern. It works all over the lake. Basically, you find your favorite nearshore rock hump or rocky point. Put out a bobber and a leech off the end of it. You can vary your depth so you don't necessarily need to be in any certain depth. Just be up on top of the structure as the sun is setting. A lot of times that's the best way to get your keeper sized fish. And a lot of times you also get numbers and or big fish as well. Third technique, one of my personal favorites, is just a paddle tail swim bait. Paddle tail swim bait works great throughout the daytime hours. It's an aggressive way to fish. You can catch a lot of fish doing it. You can catch big fish doing it. The depths that I tend to target are going to be in about 6 feet of water all the way out to about 18 feet of water. For the most part, I'm using a 4-inch paddle tail with a quarter ounce jig. If I'm going out to that 18-foot range, I'm going to bump that jig head up to a 3 8 ounce. Cast the little swim bait out there, let it sink to the bottom, and just reel it in low and slow, keeping it close to the structure, letting it bump into the bottom every once in a while. It's a great way to catch fish throughout the spring. Moving on to the smallies, I would stick with that paddle tail swim bait. Uh, you can find fish anywhere from that 3 to 18 foot of water mark again. It kind of depends on the day. If you have a day where it's trending warmer, I would move up shallower. Those fish are going to seek out warm water. If you have a day where it's cooling or just the water temperatures are kind of stagnant, I might stay a little bit deeper, more in that 12 to 18 foot range. On a warm day, rock sand transitions are fantastic. On a cooler day, I would look for rock or rock gravel transitions in deeper water. And that pattern will remain true for the other two baits I'll go over as well. The second bait that I'll be using on opener is going to be a jerk bait, and that is by far my favorite way to catch smallmouth. During the pre-spawn, there is no better way to catch smallmouth. It is just a riot when you get on a good jerk bait bite. On a warmer day, I might check out the shallower bays, the shallower rock reefs, anything that has a lot of good sunlight exposure, just wherever the water is warming up. And when I'm going in that shallower, warmer water, just a white number 10 X wrap is all you need. The best cadence is just a simple jerk, jerk, pause. If the water is very cold, you may have to pause it for longer. If the water is warm or you're up very shallow on a very, very warm day, sometimes you don't need to pause very much at all. If you are going to fish the jerk baits out deeper, I'd recommend going with a little bit deeper diving jerk bait. That's more of a colder water deal on a cooler day. But use a deeper diving jerk bait and then really extend your pauses out. So instead of doing just a second or two second pause in shallow warm water, sometimes you might need to go 10 seconds or more on the pause. The third thing, and this is just a technique that works from ice off all the way until ice up, and that's the Ned Rig. 
and the Ned Rig is just a way to put fish in the boat when things get tough. It's a great way to put fish in the boat when things are good. But the Ned Rig always works. If it were me, I would try a couple different baits on the back of the Ned Rig. A lot of times in cooler water, I like something like the little craw-shaped patterns. They tend to fall a little bit slower. They don't wiggle as much. They, believe it or not, have less action. So in colder water, I like the little craws. When the water warms up, just the regular old Ned Rig TRD in Green Pumpkin is unbeatable. So dragging the Ned Rig slow on the bottom, finding rock gravel or rock sand transitions is key this time of year. But fish them low and slow, drag them back, pause them. It'll put fish in the boat no matter how tough it gets. Hey, I hope everyone has a great weekend and good luck fishing.